Okay, hello, hello. We have learned about sequence before. Now we are going to learn about the the second principle of coding, which is conditional. Conditional is a statement to check whether a condition is met or not. For example, I want to check the age of someone if he or she is eligible to drive or not. So let's let's make it simple. Okay, let's say uh, I'm going to ask about their age. How old are you? Okay, and then we will check uh, if age is older than 17, then we will print, oh, you are old enough to drive. Just like that. Oh, okay, today I will show you uh, a new thing to learn. That this equation, right, to be checked by the if. If is conditional. So the keyword if will check for the condition. If if the condition is matched, then it will do any statements written below the if. So it will check if the age you are entering is bigger than 17, then it will print, oh, you are old enough to drive. So we're going to make this code work, right? But I have to make some adjustment. Uh, here, we are doing a math equation, right? Meanwhile, when we do input, it usually in form of string. So the data types we usually have in programming is string. String is uh, anything like words, you know, like name or just uh, a character or probably numbers, but in uh, inside a, a quote. So when we have this equation, we need another type of data. We, in this case, we will use integer. Integer is round numbers like zero, minus one, uh, 99, 17, and so on. And we, we also have this, this data types called a uh, float. Float is something with, with the digits like 7.7.17 7 or 0 0.003 or uh, probably minus uh, 1.01. .01. That's false. So in this case, we need integer, right? Because we want to compare it with a number, right? Number of integer. So we have to cast or change the type of the, the age from string to integer. So we're going to, to change the, the, the type of the variable into integer. Because if we don't do it, there will be a, a, an error like this. Let me say I, I will enter 19 and then there will be error. It, it, it says that I, I cannot do the equation math because the type of the, the data is, doesn't match. So what we have to do is I'm going to, uh, we have to do the casting, right? We just do integer. So it's uh, instead of using string, we will use integer. So the edge will be a number to be compared to 17. Then it will work. Now, how old are you? 19. So it will say, oh, you are old enough to drive. Okay. So what happens if we put something like, what if uh, my age is nine, uh, 15? Let's say the program will do, won't do anything because we, we don't code them. So if you want to say something else, you just add else. You, uh, you are too young to drive. So when you put the conditional like this, if the age is bigger than 17, it will say, oh, you are old enough to drive. But anything else than bigger than 17 will get this one. Okay, okay, you got it? So let's try again when I say that, okay, I'm nine years old. And then the code will say, oh, you are too young to drive. Okay, one more thing that I want you to learn about conditional is else elif let's try a, a different uh, example let's say it is about color i like i like red and blue and then i would say that if red this is my favorite color if blue still my favorite color other than that i don't like so we use we need to add elif on the structure of conditional let's say i have this variable color and then i will we don't need integer right because we use the string the, the red blue is string not numbers right so we just uh, input your 
favorite color or corner is enter a color okay and then we check if color equals to red then i will respond my favorite color and then uh, the user enter another color color equals to blue i will print also my favorite color but other than than red and blue i will say print not my favorite color so when we tried it when we tried it let's say i say red it will oh my favorite color and then when i enter blue also my favorite color but when you put anything else like probably yellow i will say oh not my favorite color one more thing i need to remind you that you have to remember the difference between one equal sign and then two equals sign. when we are doing this only with one equal sign that means an assignment so if we want to set up a variable with some value let's say you have a variable here and then you want to put a value in it let's say the edge you want to add the value to be 19 you use just one equal sign but this double equal sign is for comparison so when you compare between two different values or two different uh, or values with uh, or variable with values or two values or anything you compare you have to use double equal sign okay remember so this is really important because they serve different purpose so people make mistakes all the time about this too so don't mix it up okay so today you have learned so many things i hope this is useful next time i will tell you about the third uh principles of coding which is looping but i hope you you're having fun with this one and the, the the previous videos of course thank you for watching see you next time